Yeah, I was uh, given a workshop for parents of, of children on the autism spectrum. And uh, uh, before I started, they warned me, some of the parents are going to be angry and frustrated because they're not getting any services. They're not going to be angry at me because uh, services up in Canada are free, but they're, they're in big demand, so there's a huge waiting list. These parents are on the waiting list. And they said one of them tends to be kind of hard on speakers. And so they also said, we don't think she's going to come. But then I'm up on the stage and they go, pink sweater, pink sweater. So she's here. And so I cautioned the audience, you know, please hold your questions until the break. I talked for two minutes, pink sweater, arm shoots into the air. She asked me a question that really is not relevant to what I'm talking about. And privately, I'm blaming her for being rude and selfish. But publicly, I answer her question patiently. That happened twice more. I still answer her question patiently. Privately, I'm blaming her for being rude and selfish. But the fourth time it happens, that's it. And that, that's it, is it. And so I was sarcastic and dismissive. She left at the break. I just didn't know her circumstances. I found out about it later. She was a single mother of two small children. You know, right there is a sacred being. And these two children, profoundly delayed. She's getting no services. The only shot she's got, come to these workshops, try and get some down a speaker. She's willing to look bad in front of hundreds of people just to get a little something for her kids. That's not selfish. That's selfless. I just didn't see it. I got caught up in that old way of thinking that our way of thinking corrects for. I didn't take into account her circumstances. I just went right after her character. And I consider that a serious failure on my part. I wish I had a do-over. Our way of thinking transforms all that into something quite a bit more powerful and humane. It's just that there's only thousands of us and there are billions of people that think that old way. This way that we think, it's only been around about 100 years. That old way has been around for thousands of years. So we have a mission, and that mission is to get this new way of thinking out to the world. You're fluent. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> You're easy to work with. Yeah. <laughs> you bet.